Hello and welcome to the another CLAD preparation video on LabVIEW Advantage. Please pause the screen and try to solve this problem. Now let me show you how to solve this problem. Uh, this is very similar to the exercise 4 we did before. So if you look here, we have a number of samples for our channel as 20,000 and we have a rate of 10,000. So if we divide, we'll get the duration at which the DACMX is going to acquire the data. So in this case, two seconds is what we get. So, if you run the VI, we'll see that in the first iteration, T will be equal to zero, I equal to one will be T equal to two for the elapsed timer, I equal to two, I will be equals to four, and finally, I equal to three will be T equals to six. So, since it is larger than five, in the fourth iteration, the loop will stop. And this is the reason why the answer will be three, four rows and 20,000. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and comment on this video, and please subscribe to this channel for future lab videos. I'll see you in the next CLAD preparation video.